I'm heading down to a private ranch with a 120 acre private lake on it to go fishing for a few days. Join me on the adventure as I fish, explore, and ride off into the sunset on this beautiful piece of property settled in the Texas Hill Country. We caught giant bass, battled the weather, and faced some tests, but we had to keep the main goal in mind, setting out to catch a double digit largemouth bass. some fish blowing up in the background right there. Look at this lake, me and my dad are about to set off. We just got here and uh, we're going straight into the fishing. We're gonna be spending a few days out here doing all the giant bass fishing we can. Let's jump right into it. Okay y'all, night one. Probably already caught three, four bass. We went about an hour and a half without catching anything. We were getting a little nervous and we came to the protected bank, started catching them quick. Um, so we're good. We always, even if we only got a couple hours to fish first night, it's our kind of scouting mission for the entire, entire weekend we're down here. So we're gonna keep fishing all the way back to the dock until dark and then get out here early tomorrow. This is better. Where is it? Oh! Ladies and gents, it is a beautiful morning out here in South Texas. A little chilly, a little windy. But I mean, hey, not much more you can ask for to be out here doing what we're doing and uh it's a little overcast the water is always it's not murky here but it's always a little bit darker color y'all so what we switch to is we're just throwing these jigs right up on the bank and pull them out because a lot of times during the winter people think that the fish are all off really deep and yes they can be for sure they definitely are sometimes however whenever it's a warm day like today it's already like 65 degrees in the winter here in south texas the shallower water actually warms up quicker. It's less, you know, water surface area and the, the, you know, sun gets through it and it warms up quicker. So the fish will actually move up real shallow even in the winter. So we're throwing these jigs real shallow, working them back, and it's working great. We've, I, I've, all off camera, but I've already caught two or three doing it quick. It's better. I won't hit it all the way under the boat. There we go, y'all. It was fun. Great fish. We are going to be kind of culling some of these guys out of the lake today because the owner wants us to keep the smaller ones. Keep them from overpopulating, but beautiful fish on the jig. Take it. That was wild, man. Check this out, y'all. Look at what my dad just caught. That right there is a probably four pounder beautiful fish get a quick weight on three six four it's a great fish right there good got him big this might be a big bass guy better right out in the middle I could tell that thing hit it different oh no way he's got something on his throat too look at that that's back-to-back -back cast might be another three and a half four pounder that fish might be the exact same way I gotta go look Back at the footage, I think we made Butch caught a 3.64 pounder. Look at this though, real quick, and I'll get a release on him, but there's something down its throat. I don't know if y'all can see that. Pretty cool though. I want to get a release on this guy quick. I don't like keeping him out long. Thank you for hitting, buddy. Boom.
That was too big. That's six pounds, six and a half, or seven pounds, two casts. So I think I hit it out in the very, very middle. Right off the tree. Right off the tree, y'all. Oh, that's making a big wake. Another good feeling fish. Oh, it's real big. Not, not as, oh, it's probably five. This is so cool, y'all. This be a really good fish to land. That's a big bass. This is a really big bass. Eyes just barely hooked. Got him. That is a big fish. Oh, he just came off. <laughs> That's a big bass. Much fatter. <sighs> yes, you guys. I feel like it's a little. Yeah, it is bigger. I was gonna say that one felt bigger. Four two eight. New bigger fish of the trip. Beautiful bass. Get a release on him. You know where that one hit it? Right off the tree. Put it on this guy. This is the exact, I mean not the exact, lure's exact, um, obviously, but my personal best bass that I caught up here in about 30 yards off this one tree, I was throwing a jig with this um, exact type of trailer. So, figured we may as well get another shot. We're on, you guys. Whoa, another good bass, I think. Ooh, it's a big bass. Yeah, I need the net. No, that's fine. Yeah, this is another two and a half, three pounder. Oh, yeah, not as big as I thought, still. How big is yours? Whoa, don't flip that net here. God, he did flip it. Look at that. Some serious stuff. You want to weigh yours? See if it's the biggest one. Another beauty. About maybe two and a half, and that's probably four. Okay, pulling up to the last spot of the day, or not day, but of this current sort of exhibition out on the water. Um, a beautiful grass line. This is where we caught some fish late last night on sort of our scouting mission. Uh, we only had like two hours to fish, but we caught some nice bass. I missed a big one on this grass line. Just a beautiful, beautiful spot. Some structure to an old fence and the dock, obviously. So we're going to give it our best shot and uh, see if we got about an hour and a half more before we hit in for lunch. See if we can't catch up nice. I'm just throwing my same jig, jig, get up shallow, pull it off through the grass, and I think we're going to catch some. I, I know we're going to catch something. It's just a matter of how many and how big. This is the absolute most fun and awesome thing I've ever done. Vino, you are a legend if you're watching this. Oh. We just drove directly into the gun range. That's probably not a good idea. Pulse fire. Is that a word, pulse? Currently out taking a little break from fishing. About to go eat lunch, but on the little mini dirt bike right now. See, it goes like 11 miles an hour, but it is the absolute most fun thing I've ever ridden. It goes like five miles on a full charge, which is a long way, especially out on a ranch. Look at this, gun range. This is serious stuff in here. Ooh, that's good. But we're gonna drive back now. Hopefully it won't die. Hopefully we'll make it back and then we will get back out on the water. The biggest bass we caught today was like four, six, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, obviously y'all saw in the video. I forgot what it was. It was four something. And we are going to beat that, I can promise, before, uh, before we leave. Get a fish today. Uh, like I said, make sure y'all tune in the live stream. If you haven't already watched it, it'll be live by the time this video comes out. And, uh, we're also gonna start. I know my voice is like, uh, I'm on a dirt bike, but you find me on a dirt bike in the middle of the woods, solo.
Well, ladies and gents, good morning. It's a beautiful day. Um, we do have one small dilemma, though. When I get around here, you're gonna start hearing the wind. I'll turn this way to kind of protect all the legs back there. This is day, what is it, day two or three? I don't even know anymore. I've lost all track of time. A fish in this private lake, though. Thank y'all for tuning in. Today, a windstorm blew through to where it is now about 48 degrees and 30 mile an hour winds. However, I'm not a sane human being, so we're gonna go fishing. Um, I'm gonna go down and fish off the dock for a little while, and then me, my dad, and my granddad, when he gets here, are all gonna go out on the boat. Get to the protected side by the creek where we like to fish anyways, and try and catch the bass. So, last two days we've fished, it's been beautiful, no wind, real sunny. Today's gonna be a little different, it's not even going to remotely stop me from catching some big bass. Okay, I'm on the boat right now. Just kind of tightening everything up, making sure we're ready. Ready to go when my granddad gets here. It is cold and windy. It is like a totally different game than it has been the last two days. But we're, uh, we're making it work, like I said. No, no excuses. I'm calling this is a bigger fish. Just keep your rod low, I'm telling you that works. He wants to jump. Oh my God. Oh God. Monster. Oh. That's big. a pretty good fish though. That's a worker. Maybe Probably seven. Get, it, get the scale. Check this out, y'all. My dad did it. That is a big bass. What do you guys say? 7.03. Really? I knew it. All right, get a picture. There he goes. Good job. Okay, y'all. So I honestly am just getting this camera set up because it was a super slow start to our day. But we have found a honey hole. We're gonna keep wearing it out as much as we can and then move down a little bit and just keep fishing this deep cut. Turn the hole. Big fish. Right under the back of the motor. Another nice bass. You fish. You're hitting, buddy. Ladies and gents. Whoa, my voice is so deep there. I just got up. I was like, ladies and gents, how y'all doing? No, ladies. Wow, last day. Gosh, there's more, more beautiful ranch noises. Last day though, that we've got to fish. Look at the lake out there. What do y'all notice? Well, I don't know if you guys can notice that, but zero wind. Wind is completely died down, which is just so incredible, so huge to get us. We're gonna have so many fishing opportunities this morning. The goal is to fish basically all day before we leave, so. I'm so excited. Right now though, everybody else is asleep. It's like 32 degrees, freezing almost. So we're just gonna get out on the water a little bit later, like nine, 10, let it warm up. So I'm going on one last ride on the dirt bike. Cause y'all know I love it. So let's go explore a little bit and then we'll uh, get out and fish. this sun coming up behind me it's cold as heck and i was trying to ignore it and enjoy this because this is just cool I'll tell you what this dirt bike for a little electric dirt bike has got some serious kick to it i mean it takes a big hill for this thing to not want to go up it this is so so pretty I'm gonna drop, look for a, I just kinda accidentally found a good looking spot to look for arrowheads because up on this hill, obviously this is a man-made lake, but this was the original creek, so there was water here at some point. And um, 
And there's all these little pieces of flint. This is flint rock, just not broken open. So I'm going to look for arrowheads for a minute. Another thing I do want to do for fun, because I've yet to do this, is walk down to the... Whoa, look at this. Look at that. What is that? God, that almost looks like a microscopic deer in it. But that's not what that is, just a chip of a bone. That scared the heck out of me. But um, let's walk to the water bank here on the creek side where we this is where whenever we're fishing oh no way look where we came out to whenever they go the ducks remember we're fishing we're casting right here from in there so i've never seen what the bank looks like and right there those two sticks it's where i caught my personal best bass here 7.14 i'll have that video link below those two sticks i casted right to that back one right next to it it sunk and before when i went to go pop um, move my jig like pop it back there was already a fish on it and it was my personal best It's also really cold though. They're probably not going to be shallow yet. I want that sun to warm up. Good news is, you don't see that back there. Like how pretty that is. That sun is coming up quick. Must be sunny all day. Start hiking back to the dirt bike and let's look for arrowheads for a little bit. See this? These big rocks. This is the kind of stuff that you want to look for arrowheads around because this is where, look, high side Native Americans sitting right here, sitting down on a big rock. Like seriously, because you know these rocks aren't moving from 200 years ago. That same rock. There could have very well been a Native American sitting on that, overlooking this. It used to obviously be a creek, but still, there's water. There's flint all around sitting there making arrowheads, leaving behind arrowheads or even scraps. Typically, when you find an arrowhead, and don't get me wrong, I'm not an expert, but you're not finding an arrowhead that was on an arrow that they shot into the woods and missed, because that's very unlikely. While finding an arrowhead in general is very rare, it's more likely to find where they were making a bunch of them in a couple they left behind or broke a little bit so they didn't want to use them, and that's what you'll find. Well, that is the end of the dirt bike officially. I know it's sad, this thing's sure fun, but we are gonna go ahead now, head back and get ready to get out in the water. Next time I see y'all, we will be getting ready to do some fishing. Cannot wait. Oh no, it's a big bass. Is it? About four pounds. Is it no, it's not like that. Oh, it might be bigger than four. I mean, it's not like yours at all. But... Yep. He hit it under the trolling mode. No, what are you stuck on? He's stuck right here. I see the log. Oh, I'm gonna have to lift him while he's stuck. Oh, he just got undone. What happened? Yeah. What was he hung on a stump? On a stump. There's enough work. God, that took a lot of work, but we got him. I just got hit. In the log again. They're swelling like a bigger fish and going deep. That's not huge, not bad. Right out of the honey hole. It's another fat fish. Look at that, fish number two pretty quick. Yeah, I got zero. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Did you get him? Whoa, like crazy. Give it to me real quick, give it to me. I'm gonna try, strip and drag. I'm gonna try and lift it over the stick. Well, it is over the stick. No, I mean get it up over it. It looks like I could if I lifted it high, doesn't it? I don't know. The also might break off there when you get to it. Hooked 
Still failing, Hudson? He's still on there hard. He's totally still. I feel like he's in another tree after that. Is he off the stump, man? Yeah. He's off the stump. Give back to Granddad. And we should be anchored again. Watch him. He's trying to go back into it. Try and flip right. Go right. He's still in it? He went back in it. Yeah, I feel him. He's still on there. Now he's out, I think. There he is. He's out. I wonder looks if it's like, a catfish. Looks like a bigger fish. It's either a catfish or a big fish. Oh! How about a giant bass? Oh! <laughs> oh! How about that one? Oh my God! That's just another seven pounder. Yeah. I hope he's bigger. I hope he's not. <laughs> oh my God! You want to hold him? Yeah. Look at the fish my granddad's caught. That was the craziest fight. Just under the one I caught. Zero, zero, zero. Point oh one smaller than my dad's. Really? My dad's 7.04, that's 7.03. That's about right. Might that's, be the same fish and he burned some you know calories. That's called? Maybe. that's called justice. It's what a, a pretty one. fish. Great job, granddad. I took there a little team mark. That's it. I got right where you cast it, caught that one before. I kind of like edge. I kind of like my spot we found. Yeah. There's another one. Big swell. Yeah, good bass. Yeah, cast down the middle right over the troll. I don't like, I don't like this little right one. Look at that fish. Okay, well we just got off the water. Boat is all set up. That is the uh, that is officially it for for fishing. Such an incredible, incredible day, incredible weekend. Really caught so many big bass. My dad caught a seven pounder. Granddad caught a seven pounder. I got a five pounder. Like all sorts of just awesome stuff. So gonna go ahead and head up to the house, and I'll meet y'all there. Overlooking one more time this beautiful, beautiful body of water. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Um, I really do appreciate you tuning in. We've been working really hard to grow the channel and uh, y'all been showing a lot of support. So thank you very, very much. We're gonna keep continuing to grow the channel. We got some absolutely crazy, I'll just say, fishing adventures coming up soon. So make sure y'all subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for those. Um, I also wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to Bino for letting us come down here for the weekend. Staying down here, Robbie the ranch hand for just helping us get everything set up, all the vehicles boats just such a generous generous group of people we really really do appreciate it thank you so much Bino and Robbie and uh that's it from this lake hopefully we'll get back down here one day and do some more fishing but till then thank y'all so much again for watching I'll see you on the next one